it's also the one year anniversary of Collision tomorrow night as well. And Collision, I, I first of all, I can't believe it's. It seems like it's been around a lot longer yes. than just one year. But one year of Collision, that's crazy. It is, and it, it it's absolutely insane because when I, Collision started, I was still injured and I was like heavily featured and all this stuff, and I had to yeah. wait. Which your guys remind me. Do you guys remember when I went to Tony Khan's office and I said, I'm going to talk to Poppy Khan and I never got out of the office until like seven months later. <laughs> and then I was the, was the away. lock busted on the inside. I don't know. I just know that I came rolling through a uh, Selena's low rider in San Antonio. And that's what people <laughs> saw me again, a little bit more like heavier, you know, and like happier, but we're here. It's been a year. Um, a lot of the naysayers and doubters didn't give us like a month. And we've been running for a whole year and I am, it is a privilege to actually have this match uh, on Saturday because, you know, that, that means that, you know, I am, I will say like a big part of collision, you know, and, um, and for your boss to like trust you on that is, is good. I wouldn't say kind of, that's a huge deal. It's a monumental show for collision. (laughs) Let's be, <laughs> let's be serious. It's a monumental show yes. and we need your ass on there and you're on there in a huge match. And that's yes. an extra special drawing the eyes in to see. I think that's all uh, to ha- you're right to have a boss that has that much confidence in you and needs you on their show. That's the coolest. It must feel good, right? It's got to, like, you got to go out there and steal the show because you got to deliver what you're going to. Oh, but absolutely. Put that and- trust in you for his big shows. Yes. And I, Oh my God, I have the coolest gear. The coolest gear. I want to give a shout out to La Lucha Lady who like literally did the, this gear in less than a week. So yeah. uh, it's going to be so cool. I, I, You know, you know, Nick and David, they know I, I, I am like a woman, like a fashion woman on in the ring. I just something about you see me in the street. I probably won't be like being so flashy, but in the ring, that's another story. So it's going to be it's going to be cool. I'm, I'm very excited. And um I know Diana was taking a break. You know, it was her birthday. Happy birthday, bitch. Um, <laughs> it was on Monday. Ow. I really don't don't give a shit. Uh, like while she was just out partying in Nashville and like at the beach and everything, I was out there working. You yeah. know. So yeah, she's she she she's got it coming. She got it coming. She got my number and I got her. Well, Thunder uh collision tomorrow night. Um Tickets still available. Go to Ticketmaster.com in Youngstown, Ohio. Youngstown, so Ohio. In the area. Celebrate one year of collision and then see our very own Thunder Rosa going oh, yeah. up against Diana Perrazzo in a no DQ match. And, uh, you know, a, the topic Tommy and I had on our show yesterday, I don't know if either of you got a chance to listen to it, but it was centered around AEW and how it's kind of become fashionable lately to hate on AEW three years ago it was fashionable to just love everything AEW did and now it's like everybody just destroys AEW at every turn um it's unfortunate because I think Collision is and I said it to Tommy yesterday one of my favorite shows of the week is Collision on Saturday night so I think unfairly AEW company that's only been around for five years and Collision that's only been around for one is being compared to a company that's been around for 71 years it's an unfair comparison plus you shouldn't be comparing one company to another because you want every company to be a little bit different or maybe even more than just a little different than the other one so i think after five years aew is doing just fine i would say yeah you get confused because as a fan because one, say in the back of your head, you only know WWE. Then AEW comes along. You're like, cool is an alternative. This is something different. Different, not a different channel of what I wanted on WWE, a different product. And you go, that's so cool. And you're like, let's get behind them. We want to root for them. We want to, as wrestling fans. And then and then the cycles goes by and you go, well, it's not exactly what I wanted from WWE. But also, I don't WWE isn't exactly what I want because I complain about that every week. But I'm defending it because I watched it longer. And you're like, hey, listen, it's two different products that goes in like a circle of life to where let it go. It's the coolest thing ever. Now let's hate the hell out of it because it didn't become the show that I wanted WWE to become that they didn't become. And then slowly, I think it'll even back out to where like being mad one week and being happy about it the other week like a real psychotic wrestling fan like we all are you have your ups and downs every week like oh they're sinking ship they suck and then the next week you're like this is the greatest product i've ever seen 
And that's just how it's going to go, I think. And uh, also congratulations on a year collision. That's pretty cool. An extra show, an extra show for other talent to get a job. I love that. It's funny, Nick, as you're, as you were saying that it, it reminded me of uh, the documentary that's out now on vice. We just had episode two this past Tuesday who killed, on, WCW. Uh, who killed WCW and Kevin Sullivan said that, you know, this country loves to build somebody up completely knock them down and then build them back up again. He was referencing Hulk Hogan where Hulk Hogan was, you know, at the top of the world, then everybody hated Hulk and then the comeback of Hulk in WCW. And it's, I, I kind of think that way in AEW, everything comes in ebbs and flows. So right. there, there's going to be another point where AEW is going to be excused upon toast of the town. So <laughs> I'm looking forward oh. to that. You know? well, yeah, you know, and I, I mean, I, I know like a lot of the criticism every time I talk about you know, yes, I work there, of course I do, but it is pretty obvious that the two companies are different, even in the way that people wrestle in the companies. Like at this, this, this uh, last Wednesday, you had uh, Ray Phoenix and um, remind Will me, Osprey. David Osprey, Will Osprey, Will Osprey, and you're not gonna see that in WWE. There's just not the style. Like a lot of the stuff that we do in, in AEW is not the style. It's not the typical, stereotypical style that we were used to for 70 years. So, of course, people are going to be like, oh, it's trash, whatever. It's, it's different. It's, it's like the flavor of aguas frescas or, you know, juices. There are different flavors of juices. And you, somebody likes apple, somebody likes orange, somebody likes strawberry, somebody doesn't like juice, you know. They like something else. They like dead matches. And they're, that's what they watch. So... Um, I think we have it, it just in professional wrestling, like it just overall, like some of the stuff that we have been able to accomplish in the five years has been big. And I'm going to use, um, the lights out match for, as an example of what we did for prof women's professional wrestling in the last 70 years, like something like that was never seen. Like the match that I had when I won my championship on the cage was extremely brutal. And, and it was just like. It was beauty for people that are into that kind of matches, you know, and the same with other stuff like the forbidden door. Like we, we, we started forbidden door, you know, and, 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 like, and now is everybody's collaborating. So there's been a lot of stuff that, uh, Tony has been able to see it and envision it and put it in, in into place. And now people are full of students and things. So, um, and that's the cool part of what's happening professional wrestling right now, that it's not just one style of wrestling there's so many styles and people are are able to embrace them and that's that's the beauty of having another company that can do that so everybody can have a place on the table which is so important like when you're in the indies and you're like hustling and you, and you just like want that opportunity and then once you get up you know sit on the table you're like yes i will do what i have to do to like keep accomplishing my dreams and I keep accomplishing my goals to whatever is going to come in the future for some people it worked working at AEW has been really fun and it worked and they've been there for like five years for some others, they have moved on and they're doing some other stuff in other companies and that is okay. But like the important part is like, what are you taking from the people that give you an opportunity and what you're making out of it? And the same for the fans. What are you taking from what you have, what you have seen from AEW and what make, and what is making you think about professional wrestling now? I think that's, that's what is awesome about having, you know, AEW being five years and now having a show on Saturday, which is Collision. Yep, and and Collision is not a B show. If you look at what Collision's been able to do these last few months, if you look at the show that's advertised for tomorrow night, this is a great show. So, you know, if you're a pro wrestling fan, and there's a lot of wrestling, uh, there's another show that we're going to be talking about a lot today coming up tomorrow afternoon uh, with Clash at the Castle. Um, there's so much out there to enjoy Embrace it because when WCW dissolved and WCW went away, it took 20 years to get another company that was doing arenas like AEW is doing. So we should celebrate the fact that there is so much wrestling out there to enjoy instead of trying to knock these companies down and hoping that they go away.